Hello everyone. Um, I bought a new vacuum. This is the Hoover Air Light. Um, I'm just getting ready to take it out of the box and put it together. And I'm going to do just a review on it. No, I'm not being paid for it. I bought this on my own. Owner's manual. Tuco, my helper. So allegedly this all goes together without any screwdrivers. So we're going to see how this goes together. Okay, I got this all out of the box. One thing I read about the reviews is it has a 30 foot cord and they are not kidding. That is a long cord. But this is the pieces. One, two, three. That's it. To attach. And everything is no screws or anything. Alright, I'm going to come back after I get it put together. Okay, I have the vacuum put together. That, little weren't, that went together like literally like less than five minutes, just snapping everything in. Um, actually, it was probably even less than a minute. It was very fast. Okay, I am going to finish reading some instructions and then I'm going to give this a test run. Hello, everyone. I'm back to a review on this. <clears throat> I've been using this for you know, a couple weeks now. This Hoover Light Air. A couple things. Um, I do like it. Uh, the dirt cup. It's got a filter in here that you clean out. Um, this when you take this when you take this top off, it just turns to take off. I'll show you. So just one little button and it all comes off. And I'll try to do this with one hand here. You can see right there it's got a lock and an unlock. So you just turn it like that. Pop that off. This is a filter that you clean. This just pops right off. And this is the washable filter. Um, so that's nice. This whole thing is cleanable. And this goes right back on. And you just turn it to lock it. The bottom dirt cup, you just push that button and the bottom comes out. But you can take the whole thing out. It's got instructions right there to clean the tube because that does get full of hair. There's the HEPA filter right there. That's a little finicky, that top. Um, it's not on there just right. Um, the vacuum doesn't want to go back together. Okay. The cord is really long. It's 30 feet. One thing, one thing that, um, sorry, my camera just shut off. Okay. One thing I've noticed is, <clears throat> one thing I don't like, oh, by the way, too, you always pick this up by this part, not the handle, which is getting, it's getting some, I have to get used to doing that. On the back, to release the cord, just pull that down. Um, one thing I don't like is, if you can kind of see right here, is where the cord comes in. What I've noticed is I have to actually grab part of the cord and bring it up and hang on to it up here. Otherwise, it's getting tangled in my feet all the time. So that's one thing I don't like. Um, taking off for 
to use the hose thing is a real quick thing. Just push this button and pull that off. And the handle right here comes out. You just push this button and then you've got an extension handle. And then the hose hooks into here. Just a quick snap. Then the attachments right here. And uh, one thing I'm not real happy about is this brush thing doesn't come off. So to use this you just kind of slide it up. I'm trying to do this one handed. So you slide this up. A little button here. You push. There we go. So it's an all-in-one tool. You have your edge cleaner and you have your brush on there. And this little button here, you just push that. Sorry, my camera keeps shutting off on me. Okay, you just push that and then it will slide down. So it's an all-in-one. And the only thing I don't like is like when you're doing an edge cleaning, the brush is picking up lint in here, which you can see a piece right there. But it all sits right here on the side. Um, it it is picking up really well. I'm I'm pretty impressed with it actually. For seventy nine dollars, that's what I paid at Costco for it. Um, it's, oh, another thing is it's got this, you can turn the brush on and off. When the vacuum is in this upright position, the brush is automatically off no matter what. i to put this back on. One quick snap. Now, this hose thing did come off on me once down here. I was vacuuming and all of a sudden I noticed it was off on the bottom. I don't know how that happened, but maybe I didn't have it snapped in there tight. Um, or it got caught on a on something. I don't know. But you can turn the when you have it in the upright position the brush is automatically off. And you always have it in the upright position when you are using the wand. Um, it's got a pretty long hose. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Compared to my Auric, it, it cleans really well. So, emptying the cup, yeah, it gets a little dusty. I'm still trying to figure out a better way to either take a bag outside, you know, like one of those plastic grocery bags, and dump it outside um, so that the dust doesn't redistribute. But other than that, I, I'm really happy with it. So that's my review of the Oric or the Hoover Air Light. Lightweight, <coughs> when you turn it on too, it basically propels itself forward. So that's kind of nice. Um, I'm actually uh, really liking it. So, okay. Thanks for watching.